Well, we've heard about security attacks through computers and smartphones. Now new net technology is given rise to a new kind of cyber threat. It's scary stuff. Consumer reporter Juliana Valencia is here with the latest concerns about smart TVs. Okay. So actually smart TVs can connect to the internet. So hackers use the internet to get confidential information about you. As well as if smart TVs have a camera, they might also be able to see you. As smart TVs gain popularity, some are raising concerns about what the devices can be used to do. Smart TVs offer users an internet connection to download apps and browse around the internet. But one concern relates to the cameras and the devices they have. Blackmail could be something that you see emerging because um, if they catch you in a, in a compromising position, they've, they've, they've hacked your TV, they now have access to your camera, they can you know, see you engaged in, in, in you know, private uh, activities. Gamers sometimes use the camera when competing with multiple players online, or it is also used for apps like Skype. Yahoo has reportedly paid millions for a 17-year-old British computer entrepreneur's app. Nick Diolosio dreamed up the idea of a news app for small phones while studying for exams. The app Sumly works by condensing content so readers can scroll through more information quicker. I didn't anticipate any of this happening. I think when we launched the product in November, we had high hopes for user response, but to get the industry and companies like Yahoo so interested has been awesome. This is the fifth deal done by Yahoo in the past five months. Yahoo CEO Marissa Meyer wants to attract more engineers with expertise in smartphone technology. And the iPhone is finally coming to T-Mobile USA. Starting April 12th, the nation's fourth largest wireless company will offer the iPhone 5. For $100 upfront, plus another $20 a month for two years, that's in addition to service fees for voice, text, and data that starts at $50 a month. A significant discount compared to the three bigger wireless companies. And it comes as T-Mobile drops its contract-based plans. T-Mobile is currently the only major U.S. carrier that doesn't offer the iPhone. I know as a T-Mobile customer myself, I'm finally excited to have the option of an iPhone. Well, I'll be excited to welcome you to the club. I have an iPhone, and it is my life. I, I love it. So Apple's taking over everywhere. Thank you, Juliana. Well, another cold night is in store tonight. Take a look at our current temperatures. Coming up, WRUF's Caitlin McGrath will tell us just how low temperatures are going to drop.